Hey, hello again. Um, some time ago, I told you that the barn was going to go through a major facelift so that I could use it to make the beginnings of a cidery, but certainly to make it sanitary enough to be a regular food processing facility. And what that really meant was that I could expand my pressing operation outside that tiny room, have cold storage for juice, have cold storage to hold fruit until I pressed it, and then have a place because winter shows up to keep it from freezing. So the very first thing I had to do, critical path all the way, and I've been thwarted a bit, was I had to have a place to put my stuff. So... <laughs> There it goes. Okay, all the way up. And now I can offload and it can put a couple hundred pounds up there. So this is like a really cool thing because as you look around the debris field that is the inside of my barn on a dirt floor, there's a lot of stuff in here that it's not going to get thrown away. You know, you can see that tote in the foreground that's filled with electrical supplies. I got two totes in the back that are filled with fencing supplies, all that stuff. But how often do I need it? So I'm going to be putting that up in the hayloft and it's going to be available to me, but I'm not going to be tripping over it. Yeah, about that backhoe. Well, that's going to be digging the floor out when it's all said and done. I'll think about what to do with the backhoe. So, but it's a great backhoe, it's a nice backhoe. So, there you go. I'm really jazzed about what's going on here right now. Got my hand in the wrong spot. And this is a good thing. By the way, this has been a great week. I reconnected with a friend from over 40 years ago and that just seemed like a fabulous omen. So you know who you are. Nice to see you again. 40 years, people, that is so cool. Okay, uh, I got stuff to put upstairs. Talk to you later. Bye for now.